When he hears me play something for the first time, he'll go through all these emotions on his face. Forte! The music is obviously a conversation to him, and he's understanding it on the levels in which the composer was really trying to convey it. Crescendo. Crescendo. He's really resonating to the music. Now, to get that out into his hands, I think that's a challenge for him. No, 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 no. Big. So I'm teaching him that right now. Now, she's... Good. Oh. Sometimes David teaches Rachel and Rex together, working on rhythm and movement. Crucial, he says, for blind children who have no visual models for how to move their bodies. I think the name of the song is Maiden Voyage. by Herbie Hancock once on a CD and she came to me the next week and she said, well, I, I love it. And I said, well, you want to sequence it? That means actually lay it down track by track. And what she did was she laid down the piano to Maiden Voyage. Oh, I love this song. Then rewound and then she went to another track. Sounds like someone's playing drums. Using the synthesizer's keyboard, Rachel played the drum line to add onto the piano she'd already recorded. Stopped, went to another track and assigned that to a trumpet, did a trumpet solo. Sounds like Miles Davis. It does. Miles, be very proud to hear this. She did all the parts herself? Oh yeah. Yeah, she did all the parts herself. Were they what she had heard or were she improvising? They were exactly what she heard except for the trumpet solo. Which was, a, was the most amazing hip solo. That's enough. Now yeah, let's lay down so the that's bass. where it ends. Anyone who's ever played the piano knows that the right hand typically plays the melody. We tried an impromptu experiment, seeing how Derek would respond if his right hand were temporarily taken off the keys. If I asked you to put your right, this hand, up here, could you play that with your left hand? I've never seen that before. I mean, he wasn't just playing the melody, of course, being Derek. He was playing the bass line with his little finger and the tune with his thumb and still doing the accompaniment with the, uh, the middle three fingers. It also shows how flexible his brain is, because normally his brain is sending the messages for the tune to his right hand, but it instantly rewired to make it fit with his left hand. It's fantastic. I don't know anyone who could do that but you.